Hello everyone, my name is Pawan. My presentation is related to sample and hold and switch capacitor circuit. This is the basic circuit of sample and hold. Uh, it includes MOSFET which acts like a switch and a capacitor. A clock is connected to the gate of the MOSFET which decides the sampling frequency. When clock is logic 1, MOSFET behaves like a resistor. So, this is how the sample and hold circuits looks like when the clock is 1. Uh, its transfer function is given by 1 by 1 plus SRC and the border plot of the sample and hold circuits look like this whose bandwidth is 1 by RC. So, if 1 by RC is equal to or greater than the bandwidth of the input signal, then there will not be any signal attenuation. Sample and hold circuits have problems which is due to charge injection effect and clock feed through. Charge injection is seen when MOSFET is turned off. The charge is charge in the channel flows towards the drain and source sides. The charges flowing towards the source or the capacitor side charges the capacitor during the sampling phase when capacitor is charged by the signal total charge on the capacitor is deviated from the original charge by the amount of charge accumulated earlier thereby creating offset error offset error can be offset error is always negative uh, in the v out versus v in plot here uh, ideal characteristics and non-ideal characteristics can be seen. Another non-linearity is clock feed through, which is due to the parasitic capacitor present in the MOSFET. Uh, consider the following clock, uh, following circuit in which parasitic capacitor parasitic capacitors are there. Error is equal to the CP2 by CP2 plus C times V clock. CP2 is a parasitic capacitor. It depends on the amount of overlap between the gate and the drain regions and the width of the uh, MOSFET. Next comes the switch capacitor circuits. It includes sample and hold circuits and a logic or the operation in the first figure phi and uh, phi bar are two different switches which are closed alter alternatively when phi switch is closed capacitor is charged to v in and uh, when phi bar is closed uh, capacitor discharges and operation takes place in the second figure this is the basic adder circuit. When uh, five switches are closed, capacitors are charged, and when uh, five bar switches, switches are closed, add, adder operation takes place. Uh, this is the basic circuit of switch capacitor integrator. Uh, during a uh, five phase sampling takes place, and during five bar phase integration takes place. Uh, phi bar switch uh, behaves like an by behaves like a resistor when a uh, phi bar switch is closed. So it it looks like a basic integrator uh, op-amp based basic integrator circuit. Gain of this circuit is equal to C1 by C2.